Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another 3D printing video. Today, reviewing and testing the Sun Lu standard photopolymer UV resin. The cheapest effective 3D printing resin, viscous, single part reactive sets off from a UV light source that is masked through an SLA or DLP machine. Affordable distribution from eBay and Amazon, especially in bulk. It is exceptionally well packaged in a rectangle container and box with a bubble wrap and an expansion space with plastic wrap to prevent leakage and explosions. A handful of neat complementary funnel filters are included for straining your resin. The box contains availability of safety data sheet for industrial use, a use by date and all the safety information and settings on the bottle and box. As per instructed, thorough shake of the container and poured it into the vat. The flow is very smooth with no visible debris. I did put it through the strainer and that had very minimal amount of uh, scum or solids, mostly dirt left in the 3D printer. I'd never strain. A 30 minute preheat of the tank to a toasty 35 degrees. I'm using an older 2K Anycubic Mono X aftermarket screen protector and heating band. The power setting has been dropped to 30%. Standard settings with the addition of slower retraction time and slightly longer exposure time for safety. And fear of adhesion issues with previous resins and colder temperatures. Excluding environmental adjustments, I assume all of these precautions are not required with this product. Test prints will be one of the most common subjects that these machines are purchased for, wargaming miniatures. Starting off with what I've struggled in the past, large surfaces for a bigger printer, uh, tanks, light supports on a X and Y axis tilt hollow, and a whole cluster of smaller models such as 28mm figures and other components that I'm working on at the moment. The results have come out to be fairly successful. No failures, no support issues, pancaking or vat stick. The resin is cleaned in isopropic alcohol and then cured in natural sunlight. The supports are removed and cleaned up. Advice to wear gloves when handling and in a well ventilated area as instructed. The large piece is flawless, slight amount of layer lines on top, fairly soft with very sharp details and all of the small figures have appropriate detail as well, no failures. Before we wrap up, I've noticed many brands and major labels has parallel packaging or reboxing, including J.O. The similar box and bottle tipped me off with a slight different color variation and even the resin being a lighter tone of gray. The performance and flow is very similar down to the price difference only being in cents. Same wholesale bundle packaging even throws in the three strainer paper funnels. And I have to say it uses the same and I'm quite happy with it. The two brands have a variety of color including tan which I'll be using quite a bit and clear. To date I have gone through a total of five liters without any issues and shall be using this product as the cheapest on the market. And does what it needed to do, adhesion, color, relatively smooth, good detail. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time stay tuned for further content and we'll catch you guys later. See ya!